Well, if people want to learn something about TPM, the easiest way is to type the three letters into your favourite search engine. However, what you'll find is there's a huge amount of information that you're going to get. So really the purpose of this short video is to try and demystify some of that information. I'm Simon Carr, I work for the Industry Forum and I have more than 20 years experience helping companies with their TPM programmes. TPM simply stands for Total Productive Maintenance and it's a methodology that was established in Japan in the 1970s and since then it's spread into other parts of the world so now there are thousands of people that apply TPM principles. What it really means is it's a methodology that gets everybody contributing so the total means everybody but it provides a, a way that people can truly contribute to their processes and then see how that helps other areas of the business. So it's a very motivating, engaging methodology. So the specific way of introducing TPM, the maturity starts at a sort of piloting phase uh, where you'll introduce some of the tools and techniques and then you'll expand into other areas until it's holistically taking place across the business. And there are 12 steps that describe that maturity level. The way it is delivered on the ground, the accountabilities come through a series of pillars. And there are eight pillars. And in brief, there is one described as focused improvement, which is all about identifying where the biggest benefits will be, and then in a sensible manner, making those problems go away. The challenge is often sustainability. So the next few pillars help with that sustainability. There's a pillar described as autonomous maintenance, which is where operators get more involved in the care of the equipment, restoring it and maintaining it. Uh, planned maintenance will play their part over the months and week, weekly, monthly, annual cycles. Um, training and development. So if we've changed something, it's important we give people the new skills. So that describes the first four pillars. There are other pillars that look at different areas. There's one looks at new product and new process, that's described as early management. There's a pillar that looks at supply chain and supporting processes, that's described as the office pillar. There's a pillar that looks at the quality systems and more proactive creation of a robust quality operation, that's the quality maintenance pillar. And there is a pillar that also looks at safety, health and environment and really elements of that run through all of the other pillars. So the sorts of results you can expect from TPM really fall into three areas. There could be the, the quantifiable results, things around safety, quality, delivery, performance, cost, um, and there'll be specific areas targeted and then followed through to a conclusion and get the results. Because of the engagement of people, the other type of result is around improved morale and engagement of the workforce. And then really the combination of those leads to the third opportunity, which is around the competitiveness of the business. If these things are happening successfully, it will be noticeable in terms of performance, but also it will be noticed by the, how the customer experiences those benefits as well. All you need to do to find out more is visit industryforum.co.uk.